And we welcome you back to Everything Film with Film Robot, presented by Agency Click. I'm Joe Leary, along with Patrick Shelton, and uh, we're doing a special dedicated show to Mr. Mike Reno of Loverboy. It's so cool to have you, and we thank you so much, and we hope that uh, maybe we'll, we'll do this again down the road. And speaking of the road, it's been a long time since you've been on it. It's a long time since you've been on a stage. It's a long time since you've been screaming, turn me loose, and wearing the headband and doing all that. Um, can you even, you don't want to think about the gigs you've missed, but are, do you have any anxiety now? Are you kind of nervous about when you do hit the stage again? I'm thinking teleprompter, Joe. <laughs> never yeah. used one, yeah. never needed one, because we always did 90 to 100 shows a year. So we're going to go back. All the shows we, we couldn't do, they want us to do again. And, but everything keeps getting postponed because nobody's really sure uh, what's going to happen. But, you know, we're, we're ready to go at any time. We have, my desire is that we can at least go into a rehearsal hall somewhere, you know, for four or five days and so, bang so, the songs so off. So you've had all you can take, you can't take anymore? I can't take, <laughs> I'm going to fly. You don't, Sorry, you can't resist. You don't expect me to sing that high note I know, right now, I know, that's great. Oh I, I, I'm, I'm coming to this show. I, 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 let's, let's, let's book our tickets right now. Done. And you find it, and we'll, we will be there well, in see, the front maybe, row. Maybe, yeah. maybe Michael will throw us on the guest list. Uh, possible, you know. Well, in July, they got us booked at the uh, a couple of places in New York State, and then Atlantic City at the Ocean Casino, which is a fantastic 3,000-seat venue, right on the beach in Atlantic City, and it's fantastic. We love playing there. I hope it happens, because, you know, July's not that far away, yep. but will it will it be ready? We'll be able to go back and forth to different countries. We'll be able to travel. Will we be able to fill the seats? Will they let us sell out a show, or will mm -hmm. it be like mm -hmm. one-third only? You know, uh -huh. it's, it's a lot of questions. Are you at least in, in game shape vocally? Like, have you been singing in the car? You've been doing me, 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 la, 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 any of that Absolutely stuff? not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was, I'm a little freaked out about going yeah. back. I even said something to my friends the other day. I said, I don't even know, think I can do this again. And then they went, oh, shut up. As soon as the lights go off and yeah. you walk on stage, which is generally how I've always operated, as soon as the lights go out and I walk on stage, everything just kind of clicks in because the crowd's there, the excitement, the song starting, it's a huge, big intro. Do you not believe, as I do, I think that when we get the green light, when we get the all clear, I think there's gonna, it's going to be a, a bonanza. There's no question. And I think the minute people go to rock shows again, be they 2,000-seat venues in you know, casinos or 10,000, 20,000-seat stadiums, I think people are going to go nuts. They're so desperate for it. Absolutely. They're going to go wild. Yeah. I think I think I, uh, we were talking about this before. Is that I think people are going to be have to be upset. So they're upset about COVID. But you know what the next thing they're going to be upset that they can't. They're on a three year waiting list to go to Mexico. <laughs> yeah, maybe <laughs> right? so. Yeah. Like it's like what? Yeah. Or the sell no flights. The, the shows are going to be sold. Up. Or the shows will sell. Yeah, out like so you're not. Fast. Gonna, yeah, yeah. people are going to be starving. If you're not right on it, you won't get. As long it. as the rules change, right? And I mean, if you're if, if you're seventy five percent, that's going to sell out. So yeah, hopefully for, sure. for you guys, it's 100%. But you know what? Even at 75%, you're going to put on a good show for those people. Man, most of the guys yeah. in the band, including yeah. myself, are chomping at the bit to get back going. And we will get back going. You know, at, at our age, we could probably decide to retire if we wanted to. But we kind of love playing these songs. We love the people. We love what happened. Well, we you let us know when we're there. We'll, we, hey, we'll, come take, on. A, we'll yeah. take a, a corporate event there and, you know, mm -hmm. we'll, uh, we'll be there. Atlantic City. You know? I like it. I like it. Atlantic City is a, is a smash. It's you know, great. I haven't been there, and I th I've heard nothing but good things. It's a neat it's, place. It's a fun place. So, yeah. uh, having played the markets you've played and the continents you've you've played on, um, anything stand out as, oh, my goodness, I can't wait to go back to this one, or uh, that town I could probably do without? Any any good, bad and on the road? You know, there's a lot of good things we do. Um, you know what's happening now is all over the country, like the, there's these great outdoor amphitheaters in the summer. And there's always like 10 plus thousand people there. And it's partially covered with a ring of grass on the outside. They're, they're a great event to play. And they're usually, uh, people will buy, you know, a subscription. They'll buy like 13 concerts that year on their subscription. And they always buy us out. And we always look forward to playing them. Um, the one that I really look forward to is in Red Rocks. It's this amphitheater built into these red rocks. And if you've ever seen it, there's red rock on in each Colorado. side in Colorado, just yeah. outside of Denver. Yeah. That's an amazing event. Uh, I can't wait to play there. There's uh, places all out th through. Wisconsin's a great place to play. They have all these great events that are outdoors. Uh, so many 
wonderful places. It's hard to really, it's hard really to nail down any of. We play a lot of shows in Canada. The, the big uh, outdoor events in Canada, uh, the, even the one uh, the one we play in Kelowna all the time, Rock the Lake, has turned into a huge event. There was twelve thousand people at the last one we played, and it was fabulous. I mean, everywhere we go, we seem to be getting treated like uh, like. Uh, royalty which is really nice with the uh, covid hopefully in our rearview mirror down the road are you going to be hugging and mugging posing for pictures and having people put their arms around you and <laughs> meet and greets and stuff i think we got to cut back on that a little bit joe yeah. you know the touchy feely stuff you know nobody even wants to shake hands or hug anymore i mean i saw some pictures uh, in the newspaper this morning in britain i was reading the british paper online of course and everybody's starting to hug and they're just cr- holding for like two minutes and hugging and crying you know people haven't hugged each other in so long it's uh, yeah. you know it's getting it's getting ridiculous any uh, new material in the works uh, Paul and I've written three new songs and recorded them recently and we're going to put them out on our website loverboyband.com and we just give them away for nothing enjoy well, Fantastic. we'd be remiss if we didn't ask about the Get Lucky album cover, the red leather pants. Oh, yeah. And I know you've told me, I've interviewed you a number of times, and you tell me different stories each time. What, what's the story you're telling today? Who, who's, who, uh, who's in the leather pants? That would be a no comment for you, Joe, <laughs> yeah. at this time. Um, after all these years, yeah. I don't think we should break the, uh, break the mystery. I asked you before we started recording the show, Mike, have you ever thought of putting pen to paper and, and doing a book? Because I know you've got stories, good, bad, and ugly ones, but... Um, and you seem you're a good guy, and I don't think you're going to you know reveal and 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 throw anybody under the bus. But road stories, good and bad. You, have you been tempted to want to do that? Well, a lot of the same stories I, I've talked to you today about yeah. are, are in my in my well in my writings. Uh, I write a lot of stuff in the iPad. I started doing it when Bro Jake and I did that year on the longest year of my life. By the way, yeah. I had a show two shows every weekend, and I worked every day of the week on the radio in the morning show. That was tough. So I wrote a lot of things down because I had to get up early. And yet, when you come to do it with Bro Jake, you gotta come with mm-hmm. some substance. Yeah. And every day, so now I'm doing it every day. So after I started getting in the groove of doing it every day, I had a pretty good collection of stories that I might put together someday. That would sell. Yeah, that, that would sell. sell. <laughs> um, what, uh, what do you think of artists today? Any, anybody like you're digging? Like what, what, what are you driving here listening to? Anything in particular? Yeah, it's not new though. I just, I'm a big, big Tom Petty fan, and he's got his own channel. Oh yeah, yeah. and it's really weird to hear him mm-hmm. talk and tell stories. Hey, this is Tom Petty here, you know, because he's passed away, and I wonder how his his people take it. Um, I have a, uh, I have a few uh, bands that I really like, uh, but they're not brand new. I love Cheap Trick. I love all the records they've done. Um, I love uh, so many older bands. Kansas just did another record, and it's fantastic. Like, these guys can't do anything wrong. I mean, they're so fantastic. I mean, everyone knows them for big songs like Dust in the Wind and so on, but a lot of their new stuff is fan- fa- you know, fabulous. So, uh, and I'm kind of a little bit of an, uh, of an older music guy the new guy the new stuff doesn't you know completely get me so you're probably wish you had jesse's girl is that what you're trying to say here <laughs> i wish i had jesse's girl <laughs> question for you and it's a loaded one and this will be the final one but of all the acclaim things whether it be the hall of fame whether it be a gold platinum album whether it be a grammy whether it be a juno anything stick out as the coolest moment of recognition that you've had I think one of the coolest moments of my entire life is having a having a baby. My son Alex was born. Yeah, nineteen eighty eight. That was a big that deal. That trumps for me. everything. And isn't that isn't that a beautiful? Oh, absolutely. That's great. That's yeah. what we were That's put great. on earth. To and do. Uh, is the kid hot tonight? He's a great kid. Yeah. Do, doing his best. He's in the movie business. Yeah. Speaking of film. Oh wow. Yeah. It's everything film. Uh, Mike Reno, we've never done a whole show with one guest, and we could go more. But you know, let's have you again down the road when you're back on the stages again. Okay. And we'll talk about how it compared from then. To now, we could do it live from Atlantic City. Come we, on, yeah. hey, how about the green room at my show? This that, oh, there you go. Hey, there that would go. be fantastic. Thanks for talking to me, guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Hey, and you said loverboyband.com so where people can absolutely check and out the new material, everything new will be on there. Thank you, Mike Reno. What a great show that was, Mr. Sheldon. And we thank, as always, our producers, and our behind the scenes people. 
that make sure we're fed and we're and there's sustenance for us. Uh, Linda Russell, Jennifer King, well, thank you all for your undying support. And you can always check us out on Spotify when you can hear the Yeah, you know, and if shows. you want to see um, what Mike Reno looks like right now, you can go and find us on YouTube as well. In our YouTube channel, just look at Agency Click, and uh, we'll have that segment up there. And that is a wrap. Thanks you to producer Justin Kwan. This is BNN Bloomberg, 1410 AM, 103.5 FM, HD3.